notify. In order to appreciate the advantage of this new instrument, it is helpful to compare its design to that of all other flap lifters, which share in common an essentially right-angled joint that connects the lifting blade with the main instrument shaft and handle. When the surgeon pushes along the line of the instrument handle and shaft, only a modest amount of resistance is encountered by the lifting blade close to the right-angle connection because of the almost direct link to the instrument shaft. However, the distal lifting blade encounters a significantly greater resistance due to the induced torque caused by the right angle connection functioning as a pivot axis while the lifting blade becomes a lever arm. Therefore, when the surgeon pushes the instrument in the direction of the handle, an awkward twisting motion is produced, as illustrated here. In order to counteract this torque, the surgeon must use a somewhat awkward vectored force that is off-axis from the desired direction of travel. One component vector is in this desired direction of travel, while the other component vector serves to counteract the induced torque caused by the right angle connection design. The Seibel intralasic flap lifter utilizes a different design approach than these earlier instruments. At one end of the handle is a short right angle tip designed to dissect the gutter and flap interface immediately adjacent to the hinge to facilitate easy insertion of the main lifting blade, which is located on the opposite end of the handle. Note here the absence of any right angle connection. Instead, this design aligns the instrument's handle so that it is centered on and perpendicular to the main lifting blade thereby allowing the surgeon to dissect the flap interface by simply pushing in the desired direction without having to cope with induced torque. When encountering a particularly adherent flap interface, this instrument may be used in a gentle rocking motion along the flap's central longitudinal axis, as illustrated by the green dashed arrow. This technique enables a surgeon to enhance his or her mechanical advantage by the deliberate use of torque. However, because the lifting blade is pivoting around the center of the flap, the lever arm is only half the flap diameter. Therefore, the surgeon encounters only half of the resistance as compared to attempting this technique with a conventional flap lifter, which must functionally traverse the entire flap diameter.